Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. Today video is just about how to you configure Mapbox API in your superset. I know some people face this trouble, so it will be a quick video to walk you through how you can configure that. So this is the polygon, you can say diagram. So here it requires a Mapbox API. So first to achieve that, you just have to create a Mapbox account. So once you log in into the account, you have to go in account section, and then you can create your own token. As you know, the for free tire, you have like around 200,000 requests which you can use so this is as of now free so here you can just create your token by adding any name if you already have a token by default there will be a token you can use that as well and then you can just create your own token and copy it so once you copy it you what you have to do is you have to go in your uh wait a second let me just exit it Give a second, it need to close. Okay, now, so everything is uh, done. So uh, like you can see clear. So now what I have to do is I have to go into superset, my folder, whatever the virtual environment you have created in that, and then you have to go into your uh, library folder. And in that you have Python 3.6. I think 3.6 is the one which I'm running. And then inside that there is a site packages folder. So here you will find your superset. So what you have to do is just here you see you have a superset. So you just have to go in superset as well again. And then you will see a config.python file. So let me just open that on nano editor. It's very simple. So you just have to copy paste the API and then within this, you will find a place where you can just copy your API. Let me just show you that. So it will take a few more seconds to reach. Here, so you have this my my box API key. Just remove uh, whatever by default the things are. Right now it is pulling from the OS. You can configure it as a OS environmental variable as well. So that's all on you. So here you just have to add double quotes, paste your API. Now Control X, save the file, and run your superset again. So once the superset is up, we can just refresh our page to see whether it works or not. So as we are already there, now if I refresh, so you will see this message which vanish and your map will come. So here you see your, uh, you can say, uh, map message has been gone and now here you can see the map is there world map is there you can try with other charts as well we have longitude latitude chart as an example which is by name let's say lat or let's say map so we have this map box longitude latitude and here again you can see so i hope this video will help you in quickly configure your map box api uh, into your superset and it's quite easy so here you can see again the map comes in so if you have any question just put in the comments thank you